Welcome to this how-to video from CBioPortal. In this video, I'm going to show you a number of different ways to download data from CBioPortal. One of our goals with CBioPortal is to make it easy for you to use the portal as a jumping off point for your research. Throughout the portal, every chart and every table can be downloaded, and we provide you with easy access to all of the underlying data. If you want to download all the data from a study, there are a few ways you can do this. There's the datasets page, linked here in the header, which is a list of all the studies along with which types of data are available. So this can actually be really handy if you're looking for, for example, a lung cancer study with RNA-seq data. You can very easily identify those studies. And here in this column, you can click this download icon to download all the data for one of these studies. Clicking on the study name is a great way to go directly to study view which I will do. And here in study view, there's actually another option for downloading. Up here at the top of the page, you can see the same download icon. This will again download all of the data for the study. Finally, you can visit our data hub. Hosted in GitHub, this repository contains all of the data that's in the public portal. And there's a link to this page in the video description below. Now, the options I've just mentioned are for downloading all the data in the study. And sometimes you just want a subset of that data. And for that, we provide downloads of all the tables and charts. So for example, back here in study view, we can look at this chart and we can see here in this download menu, multiple different options for how to download. And for charts, we will always provide an SVG or PDF option. So you can easily edit labels or fonts and use these in presentations or papers. There's also an option up top to download the clinical data for the selected samples. And this is particularly useful if you've applied some filters and honed in on a smaller subset of samples. Clicking this button will give you the data just for those selected samples. Now, I'd like to run a quick query to show you how you can download data when you run a query. So here in Oncoprint, the download menu provides a number of different options for downloading the figure or the underlying data. And this is the case across almost all of the tabs. So if we click over to the mutations tab, you'll see that there's a download option for the lollipop plot right here, as well as an option for the table of data below. And this icon is actually one that you'll see across many tabs. Now, the last thing I wanna point out is that there's actually an entire download tab, and this allows you to download data associated with your query in a number of different formats, including data for your query genes across all the different molecular profiles that are available. And down below, a table at the sample level showing the specific alterations for each sample in your query. There are actually a lot of options on this page that can be very helpful. And finally, while I haven't shown it to you in this video, the same download options are available when you look at individual patients or use the group comparison feature. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have additional questions, please explore the other resources listed here or reach out to us by email.